Hello, Nomad's Cult, and this video is about vertex materials, uh, the presets, how to. So, how to create such materials. And this is a um, 191 feature. So, you need 191 at least. So, okay, let's start. So, where's my nomad? Okay, here it is. So, first I check the wireframe and the resolution. So, we are about 400,000. It's okay. And we want to create a new material. So, I choose here my material paint uh, tool. So, for to create these tools here, you, the best thing is you use the um, inflate tool. So here this inflate tool and clone it and create your own tool. And the other thing is here um, the layer tool here. The layer tool also works fine with the tri planner materials. So. And these are here self-made brushes and yeah, they work fine. So here I use this one. Okay, so we are in the painting settings of the brush. At the moment there's no material, none. So we have uh, first the materials um, load here so okay so I created here um, a lot of folders so um, you can arrange it in, in folders so and one folder for me is um, to create new materials is uh, I created a new folder and I select here a material like this here and here at the top you see here the option to create a new material. So press this and then here um, a new material is created and you see here here's the original rubber black and this one is rubber black one. So when you press on this icon here a sub menu appears and there here it's possible to rename the thing to save it and to delete it so okay so let's create a new material so we need maps for this um, a color map a roughness map and so on and yeah here on this side here 3d textures um, you see here free seamless PBR textures. You can download here the maps or there are other internet platforms uh, where, where you can get uh, such textures. So, so this one here, leather armor looks nice. So I press on this here and I scroll down a little bit and here comes the link to download all the maps. Here I press on this, then a Google Drive folder appears. Okay, and here you see um, the maps here, the base color map and metallic and so on. And we need for our vertex material the base color so I download this file, base color, then the metallic. So the height. And here's the roughness. Okay. So now the, um, here in my photo gallery, here are now the maps stored. So 
I pick here the selection tool and I select here my maps. So and here I got here a shortcut to change the resolution for the images to only 512 pixels. So you don't need more, not 4K, not 2K, 512 is absolutely enough to keep the materials uh, file size very small. So, so then it converts the, the maps to uh, here, sorry, I, I delete the other maps. So and when I press on this, you see here um, the, the resolution is 512 by 512. So this is enough. <coughs> okay, so our maps are ready. Let's go back to Nomad's Cult. Um, so I give the whole thing now a name. So Leather Armor 4. Okay. I rename the whole thing. Leather Armor 4. And I think this is uh, Iron Material. Okay, so now here the thing has a new name. Okay, so let's apply the, the maps. So let's start here with a color map. So you are here in your textures and you can create here also folders and so on. So I press here on another map and then I say import. So let's go to the photos. So we need the color. So sometimes I'm not sure which map is what. So I'm I'm looking um, in the in the whole thing here and um, I try to recognize which one is. So this is um, so a mid tone. So okay. I try to find it here in the photos app. Yeah, I think this is the color map. Add. Oops. So I press on it here and I check the, so this is wrong, this is the roughness. Okay, so I have to replace it and find here, I think then this one. So check it again. Let's on my roughness. Uh, where's the color texture here, this one. I think I have to delete it and import it again. I think there's something wrong with the naming of the textures here. I check it again. Sorry, uh, this is um, base color. Maybe this one. base color. Now we are correct with the base color. <laughs> okay, so the next map is the roughness map. Um, so what's the download roughness was the last map. Import photos. Here this is the roughness. Let's check it. The roughness is correct. And the next map here, we activate the met metalness. And um, so I have to choose my materials folder. And 
good photos. Metallic was the second one. This one. Metallic is correct. And the last one is the, the alpha. So here um, in the alpha submenu, we find here our texture and press import photos. So let's see base color metal metallic height was the third one. So this one, okay. So, and when you press here, the texture, you also can get to the um, preset menu. And here now you find the option to save the whole thing. So save it and then it gets updated here. So now when I change here the, the materials, the new maps are applied. Okay, so uh, also a very important thing is here when you save your or when you want to share your materials here. So you find here a checkbox, the alpha is included and embedded textures. So when you share your material, then the textures are inside the file. So it's for sharing important, these two buttons here or these checkboxes. So the, the next thing is here, um, let's check the preview. So a little bit for scaling. So here on the side menu, I check here the, the intensity. So I set it to 100%. Um, and then I try the texture on the mesh here. So I paint all. So this is what we get with 100% intensity. So yeah, it looks nice. So I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Save. So I'm sure that now it's correct saved. So, and then here, sorry, I have to close a few folders here. And it's not so confusing. So I have to find my folder. So here is metal, metal um, material, metal silver chrome, metal rust. And so here is perforated metal. So this looks nice. Um, Okay, let's choose this one. And here when I press on this um, thing to rename the whole thing, you see here it's now in the new folder. So I change now the folder. I forgot. Metal perforated. Yeah, the name must be correct. So metal. Perforated. So and I press now OK. So you see here at the moment it's in the new folder and when I press OK, it disappears here. And now it's here in the other folder in metal perforated. So so you can rearrange your materials like this and then you're happy and have a nice um, new material so and 
paint. This is when you paint with a tool. Yeah, I think it's a nice effect with this material. So let's change uh, the, the preview and see, let's see it on this thing here. And let's paint. Yeah, I think it's nice. Okay, so that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.